What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So if you're someone who likes to watch videos on the internet, then you probably have heard of TikTok. And me personally, I can't get enough of it. I literally cannot stop scrolling. Like I just scroll and scroll and I just can't stop. Like there's no way to stop. Anyways, I've been noticing a lot in TikToks, a lot of people doing like healthy snacks, healthy things, blah, blah, blah. So I figured that we would do a video trying some TikTok healthy snacks. I mean, why not give it a go? I love to have a healthy snack. I love to have a nice tasty treat. So I figured why not try some of these? These are very interesting to me and I want to know if they taste good. So I figured why not put them to the test? So that is what we're doing today. We're trying four different little TikTok healthy snacks. I've seen a couple people on YouTube already doing this. So I figured why not try it? See what it's all about. See if they're really good and if they're really tasty because that's all that really matters, right? You don't want to have a nasty snack. So that's what we're doing. We have the ingredients behind me and we're going to go test it out. So let's just get into it. All right, so the first TikTok we are trying is these chocolate cookies. I figured we'd do these first because you gotta bake them. So we'll see how they turn out. There's only three ingredients. There's banana, cocoa powder, and peanut butter. So hopefully this tastes good. I'm a little worried that it won't taste that great because there's not really a sweetener in there, but we'll see. Let's try it. All right, so I got my three ingredients here. We got our cocoa powder, our bananas, and our peanut butter. I hope this turns out because I'm wasting my bananas on this, my good bananas. Actually, first of all, we need to preheat the oven to 350, so I'm gonna go do that. Okay, now we need our three bananas in the bowl, and now we need a half a cup of cocoa. Half a cup of cocoa, and now half a cup of peanut butter. All right, half a cup of peanut butter in the bowl. All right, and now we just mash it together. Oh my god, this like needs some arm work. It's like a workout within itself. Jesus, Murphy. The only part about this snack is that it's literally arm workout. My arm literally hurts so bad, guys. It's not even funny. I think CrossFit would have prepared me for this, eh? All right, so now you take your mixture, put it into little cookie balls, and cook it for 14 minutes. So let's do this. Oh, this is, ooh, this is like a slimy texture. Ew, I thought this was going to be more dry. Okay, these are like mud pies. I feel like this needs like a flower or something. This is like pudding. This is kind of gross, not gonna lie. Ooh, the texture, man. Cookies are out and I let them cool off a little bit, but they just look like, I don't know, like kind of gross. They look like little mud pies, but we will give them a little taste test. Okay, so we have David here who's going to help us taste test mm. these. So we're starting off with our cookies. <laughs> you wanna try them? They look sure. disgusting. Oh shit, they're still warm. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Maybe colder. Maybe, but they're like... They're weird. They're, they're missing the flour. I know they're supposed to be like paleo and gluten-free and vegan, but like... Eh. Honestly, I'd pass on these. Not my favorite. Nope. Honestly, guys, I gave these another try and they're actually pretty good. Just let them cool down and they're not that bad. The next snack we are making is apple nachos. And these look really good. There's nothing too crazy about them, I guess you can say, but they just look really good. And I think that this would be actually really great to make when you're having like a lot of people around. It looks cute and it looks just kind of like fun, like party-like, like nachos kind of thing, literally. That's it. Uh, but yeah, I figured that this one would be kind of fun to do and pretty easy and straightforward. So we're gonna do it. All right, so we have our apple here and we need to cut it. Apples are sliced and we're gonna make it look all cute how she did it, hopefully. I'll try, I don't know. She made it look really nice. She like made them all like look nice. <laughs> oh my God, this is not looking as nice as hers. All right, I feel like this isn't as cute as hers look. Oh, it actually doesn't look that bad, but it's not bad, okay? It, it's good enough. All right, she took some peanut butter. It didn't say how much, but she drizzled it on. Oh my God, this is not gonna drizzle. Oh my God. Okay, this is just, <laughs> oh my God, okay. Drizzling it on. It's not really drizzling. Okay, this is coming out as a huge clump. This isn't good. Oh, this looks bad. Okay. Trying to make it look cute. It's not looking... Oh, wow. That, that's great. Someone's gonna get a chunk of peanut butter there. Okay, you know what? That's, that's how that's turning out. She said use organic peanut butter, but it's not really drizzling. Oh, okay. Well, okay. That's, that's enough peanut butter, I think. <laughs> 
wow. Then she took some granola. I'm just using this one here. It's like granola with some pumpkin seeds. I'm gonna sprinkle that on. Just sprinkle it, make it look cute. Wow. It just looks like a mess. And last but not least, she used honey. I'm gonna use maple syrup. So we just drizzled that on, my favorite part. Oh yeah, that looks good. Doesn't look half bad. Can't wait to try this. Yum. I'm pretty sure I know how these are gonna taste. They're just apple nachos, but they look like fun. So you wanna have a little nacho? Take a little nacho. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. This is such a fun like summer snack, like party oh, thing. Oh, sweet and salty. That's really good. Yeah, the maple with the peanut butter. So mm. good. Recommend. All right, we are on to the next TikTok, which is chickpea cookie dough. I've seen this before and I've always wanted to try it, but I didn't know how to make it. And when I saw this, I was like, I need to try this. It looks so good. So we're going to make some chickpea cookie dough. This is exciting. All right, so in a blender, we are putting one can of chickpeas. And don't worry, I washed them and they're all ready to go, but it feels so weird to be making a dessert with chickpeas. We need one quarter cup of peanut butter. Honestly, I love how all these recipes pretty much have peanut butter in them because peanut butter is life. We need two teaspoons of vanilla. Oh, shit. Well, it's gonna be a little sweet. Okay, there we go. We need three tablespoons of flour. I'm using buckwheat flour because that's all I have in my house right now. We got number one, number two, and number three. And then we need two tablespoons of maple syrup. One, two. And then she said add in a pinch of salt. All right, now it's time to blend. It is all blended and honestly kind of smells not the best, but we're gonna put it in a bowl with some chocolate chips now. It looks like mushed ch chickpea. If there's chickpeas chunks in here, I swear it's gonna be nasty. Honestly, best part is probably the chocolate chips, so let's stir some of these bad boys in. And that's it. Let's give it a taste test. All right, now for the cookie dough. I am excited to try this. Hopefully, it tastes good. You want to take the first bite? Sure. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. The first bite, but the more it's in my mouth, the it's weirder like, it's starting to taste. What does it taste like? Do you Banana. know what's in here? Do you know what's in here? No. Do you know what's made out of it? Banana? No. Vonnie's poops? <laughs> It's made with chickpeas. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's really not great. No. It looks better than it tastes. Yeah, it looks really good, but it tastes too much like chickpea. It's mm. kind of gross, eh? Yeah, kind of. I feel like that, it needs more maple syrup. The first bite was good, like texture wise, and then I just like start chewing and it was like, mmm. I'm actually really disappointed about this. I thought this would taste better. Yeah. All right, so the last snack that we are doing is these green grapes with lime on them that apparently taste like Sour Patch Kids. I've also seen ones where people like put monk fruit on it as well, but this one seems really easy and straightforward where you just squeeze some lime on them and it tastes like Sour Patch Kids. I'm not the biggest fan of Sour Patch Kids, but my boyfriend David is a huge fan of Sour Patch Kids, so this one is mostly for him. I figured we could get this little try and see if it's really like Sour Patch Kids, so. Let's try it. All right, so I went ahead and washed and cut the grapes already just because I feel like it would absorb the lime a lot better. And now we just sprinkle on the lime. That's how easy it is. All right, let's squeeze it on. This lime is a little hard. Okay, it's lime. There's no juice coming out of this lime. There we go. All done, easy as that. Let's go give it a try. Now this is supposed to taste like Sour Patch Kids, which you like, so. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Kind of. I guess. Mm. And do you like it? It's good though. Yeah. I mean, it's easy, straightforward, it adds a little bit different to the mm -hmm. grapes, but. But it's not Sour Patch Kids. No. All right, so what was the best one, David? The apple nachos, I find. Yeah, I think so too. The, I'm disappointed about the chickpea one. Yeah, it looks honestly. so much better than it tastes. Yeah, it looks so good. But uh, nacho one is probably the best. Actually, I'm surprised, because I'm not a big fan of the Sour Patch Kids, but the grapes, 
are pretty good. Anyways, I'm gonna end off the video here. If you like this video and you wanna see part two to this, let me know down below. And don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. You guys know where it is. And yeah, don't forget to be unstoppable. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Summer days burn me out, love just freaks me down Go inside like winter leaves, I slowly lift the ground Hey, you come back, I wanna give you a chance Love me like you used to, so we can learn again The skin is getting round, baby, drink tonight